What is going on guys? It's Noah from Sixflow Automations. Today I'm going to show you how to connect to retail AI and N8N to perform post-call analysis and how to store those analytics in an organized Google Sheet. As always, if you find this content useful or you're feeling generous today, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's jump straight into it. All right, guys, we're going to take this step by step. We'll start off by building the Google Sheet to store the post call analytics. We'll then hop into retail AI to set up the variables and then finally build the N8N workflow to retrieve those variables and store them in the Google Sheet. Before I hop into Google Sheets, I just want to quickly show you in retail AI how post call analysis works. So you can see here on the right side, we have this tab bar, one of them labeled post call analysis. If I want to add a data retrieval variable, I just click the add button and you'll see there are four options, text, selector, boolean, or number. So if I hop into retail's documentation right here, they lay it out pretty simply. So we have boolean, which is a true or false. That's gonna be pretty much a yes or no. So for example, if you want your agent to determine whether the caller was interested in your product or not, you can give it a name, say product interest, and then a description saying, was the user interested in this product and so on. Then we have text, so it can actually lay out text if you want a detailed call summary, for example. Again, you just name the variable and you give the description and same with number and selector. We're gonna focus on the text and Boolean because for me, I find those the most useful. So now what we're gonna do is hop into Google Sheets and I just want you to pause the video right here and create this exact Google Sheet. Just a quick note, the ones past user sentiment, these are gonna be the variables that you define in retail. So these ones you don't necessarily need to copy, but if you wanna create the same agent that I'm using, then go ahead and just copy this exactly. Otherwise, you just wanna put the name that you gave those variables in retail AI right here. So if I press add and I press Boolean and I say product underscore interest, and then I give a description and save, this is the exact name you wanna put in your Google Sheet. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Let me return to the screen so you can give it a pause and copy. So once you got this Google Sheet created, we're gonna hop back into Retail AI and I've deleted the post call analysis so I can just show you how to actually set it up. We're gonna add some Booleans here. So I'm gonna press add and then I'll select Boolean. I'm gonna give the first name was the customer satisfied. So I'm gonna name it customer underscore was underscore satisfied. Make sure there's no spaces in your name, just use underscores instead. The description here is gonna be this. So was the customer satisfied with the service they received? And we're just gonna click save. So I'm gonna do that a few more times for a couple other booleans and then we'll do some text ones and then we'll jump into N8N to build the automation. All right, so we got a few booleans added. So now let's go ahead and add some text variables. So I'm gonna click on add and I'll select text. Let's give this one a name. So I'm gonna call this reason for call. And then the description is going to be this. So what was the main reason the customer called? Now with the text, you can also add format examples. You don't need to, but it may be helpful to tell the AI what it should be responding by giving it a few examples. So I'm just gonna click add here. And the first example I'll give it is just gonna be a product inquiry. I'll give it another one for technical support like this. And then finally, I'll do one more for general questions, just like that. And then let's go ahead and press save. And then we'll just add one more. So I'm gonna press add, I'll press text. This one will be products discussed. So I'm gonna name it like this. And the description is just gonna be this. And we'll add a few format examples. So like that. All right, so that's pretty much as simple as it gets. That is how you set up the post call analysis variables. It's very simple. You just wanna make sure that your descriptions for text and Boolean or if you're using selector or number are good enough to the point that the agent is able to interpret what it should be looking for in the conversation that it's having. So just make sure that you use either ChatGPT or Claude or whatever LLM you want to make sure your descriptions are as good as possible. All right, guys, that is essentially it for the retail AI side of this tutorial. We have our agent built, we have our post call analysis data retrieval variable set up. There is one more thing that we're gonna to need to set up, which is the webhook setting. So what we're gonna do now is hop into N8N, go ahead and create a new workflow, and we're just gonna add a webhook trigger like this. We'll switch the HTTP method to post, and then we are gonna copy the production URL. We'll quickly hop back into Retail AI, and we're gonna paste the URL right here. And then we will go back into N8N, and now what we're gonna do is click save and we're actually gonna activate this workflow so that we can load in some data to work with when building the rest of the workflow. Before we do that, I'm gonna give you a quick explanation of how retail calls webhook URLs. 
pretty much it's going to execute three times. The first time is going to be when the call starts. The second is going to be when the call ends. And the third is going to be for the analysis variables. So we're only going to focus on the post call analysis. So we will set up a filter node to get rid of the uh, data retrieved from the start call and end call. But before we do that, let's give this a test. So we have our webhook active. I'm going to go ahead and publish this agent. We're going to connect it to an inbound phone number. If you don't know how to do this, I'll link one of my videos up above where I break down exactly how to connect Twilio, N8N and Resale AI so that you can connect your phone numbers to your voice agents. I'm going to go ahead and publish this now and then I will grab my phone and we will call this agent and see like that. Hey there. Thank you for calling Six Flow Automations. This is Sarah. How can I help you today? All right, that is all we needed really. I'm gonna head over to executions in our N8N workflow now, and you will see that we have two executions already done, and here comes in the third one. So what I was talking about before is if I click on this first execution and I scroll down, you can see that the event is called started. Then if I click on the second one, you will see that the event is called call ended. And then finally we have call analyzed with this one right here. So this is the one we want. So we're going to go ahead and copy this to editor. Now we have our data pinned and the next node we are going to add is like I said, a filter node, and we are going to grab this body slash event, drag it into value one. And we are just going to set this to equal to call underscore analyzed like that. So now anytime the webhook gets called and it's for a start call or end call, it's just going to get stopped at this node right here because we don't need that data. We only need the data coming from call analyzed. Now the next node that we are going to add is going to be the Google Sheets node. So let's search up Google Sheets, add that. We will choose a pend row in Sheets and then go ahead and set up your credentials if you haven't already done so and then just choose the Google Sheet that you made. So this is mine right here and then it's going to be sheet one. And then we have all these values to send. So the first one is going to be date and time. You can just do this by tapping on expression and then doing double curly bracket with the dollar sign. And now this is going to give you the exact date and time of right now. And then to get the other data, like we are going to have to run this filter node first. So just give that a run and then we will pull in that data here. All right, so before we set up our post call analysis variables, we're gonna set up the variables that retail always outputs. So we have a few here that's gonna be transcript. We'll drag that into call transcript. Duration can go under duration. And then let's just close this transcript objects for now. Here is the recording URL, so that can go down here. We also need our call summary right here. And then we also need our user sentiment. Here it is under call analyzed user sentiment. So all of these right here, are the ones that retail outputs no matter what for every call, then the ones below are the ones that we actually set up. So all the ones that we set up, you can go under call analysis and you will find them under custom analysis data. So you can see here we have the customer was satisfied. I'll drag that in here. Then we have complaint received. We have technical support. We have reason for call and then we have product discussed. And there you go, guys, that is the entire workflow. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on the webhook, I'll press P to unpin it, and then I will press save. And now we will hop back into our Google Sheet so we can see this automation work live in action. I'm gonna give the agent a call like this. Hey there, thank you for calling Six Flow Automations. This is Sarah, how can I help you today? Hey Sarah, I just got a quick question for you. Do you guys only sell voice agents or do you also do custom automation builds for clients? Great question. We do more than just sell voice agents. At Six Flow Automations, we also offer custom automation builds tailored to your business needs. Whether you're looking for a specific workflow, integration, or a unique automation solution, our team can help design and implement it for you. Are you interested in a particular type of automation or do you have a project in mind that you'd like to discuss? You know what, that's all really good information, but I'm actually late to a meeting, so I'm gonna have to go. I will give you a call back to discuss further. No problem at all. Thanks for reaching out and feel free to call back whenever you're ready. Have a great meeting. All right, let's watch it come in. There it is. So we got our date and time. We got our duration, call summary, transcript, and so on. Here are the variables that we added. So we have, was the customer satisfied? It decided true. I was satisfied. And did I give a complaint? Nope. That's why it's false. 
technical support requested also falls. And then we have the reason for call, which is product inquiry. And then the products discussed were voice agents and custom automation built. And there you guys have it. If you have any questions at all, just drop a comment below and I'll be responding to you as soon as possible. If you found this video useful, please hit that subscribe button. It would help us out so much and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.